Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with MGRC here. So today, just letting you guys know, we do sell RC cars. I know there's some people that'll leave comments and like, hey, where can I get this from? I'm like, well, you can go to our website. And I always put, I try to put it in the comments below in the description where you can get the stuff at if I sell it, which would be omgrc.com, just in case you didn't know. Now you know. <laughs> All right, so I got a couple cars here that I wanna sell anyhow, probably some more too. These are kind of like my actors anyhow, so after a while, I kind of get tired of seeing the same old face after a while, different scenes, right? So just figure I'd sell them, get some other ones. I wanna get another Tamiya vehicle. I don't know, I kind of wanna get a Grasshopper too. It's just, it was the first RC car that I got when I started into RCs. So uh, this one here I might sell for like a hundred bucks or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't come with the radio or receiver. It does come with the, the brushed torque tune motor, uh, the electronic speed controller, and it does I left the servo in there and I put the, these are non-friction shocks, so these are oil-filled shocks in there. It does have the bushings in there. I didn't upgrade to bearings and you guys can have fun with the stickers. So anyway, something like that. I'm not 100% set on the price as of yet, but if someone's local, so I'll give them a deal or something like that, I'm not 100% sure, but I wanna have enough so I can try and get another RC vehicle. Since I sell Tamiya, so that's cool. So I get a little deal on that one. These sell brand new for like 150, so take it for what it's worth right there. Um, all right, so the Gen, this is the Red Cat Gen, or yeah, Everest. Gen 7. I want to just go right to Gen 7. Um, this is the Pro. So this one has, I do like this convenient factor. I wish they'd do this on more vehicles sometimes. I like it. Um, it does have just the standard gears in there. I did do a video where I put 32 pitch or I don't know if I did it or not. I do so many videos. Um, I don't remember, but I did switch it back from the 32 to the 48 pitch that comes stock on here. Um, it's set to LiPo as of right now. But nothing really, I don't really, oh, and I have the Savox servo, it's like a, what is that, a 31 kilogram, whatever, uh, like servo that's in there. Yeah, it's got more power, that's for sure. So that's good. Uh, so it come with the radio, it, and it wouldn't come with a battery. If you picked it up locally, I'd probably just throw in a nickel metal hydride battery, just so, like, here, here you go, and you can have at that. Now, um, but I think I would sell that one for some, I'm thinking somewhere in the range, don't hate me, whatever, 150. I think that's not too bad. It's not really scratched up much. Uh, it's in pretty good shape anyhow. I never used a tire on top of there. It's real, it does have a little split here in the back. Just kinda let you know on that one. It's got, it's got that scratch that's in there as well. But for the most part, overall, it's in pretty good shape. It's got those little scratches that are there. So something like that, you know, something like around 150. Yeah. All right, and then we have the uh, Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL, non-VXL, meaning that it doesn't have the Valenion system in it. I took it out. The only thing that's in here is the servo. So the receiver's missing, the electronic speed controller, and obviously the motor. <clears throat> and uh, it doesn't have any tires with it right now, or radio. So I'm just doing it as a, we'll call it like a slider since it can't really roll because it's got no tires on there. I don't know if I'm gonna include tires or not. I might post this stuff on eBay. Not 100% sure as of right now. Um, if you're local and you have a Traxxas charger, I might just throw that in for the win. And then you do have this, I broke a, I broke the A-arm or the arm on it, my last jump, and it popped off the shock cap, which then I lost a diaphragm in there and I had to go buy more diaphragms for it. So. I just, so that's been replaced in there. So there you go on that part. So right, there you go, you get an extra little arm. That's the right arm anyway. So I'm thinking I'm selling that one in the hundreds, higher hundreds, I don't know, like 180, 200, something around there. I don't know. I haven't really set my prices as of yet, but if anybody's interested in it, you know, it's gonna have to include shipping or it would not include shipping. You have to pay for the shipping part of it. So we'll see, we have to kind of work out a deal. If by chance you guys are interested in it. Um, <clears throat> All right, so what's gonna replace some of these vehicles here? I don't know yet, to be honest with you, but it's gonna be stuff that I sell. So if you go over to our website and you're like, hey man, I don't even know what you sell. I didn't know you sold stuff. Well, here you go, so now you know. I'm selling, I sell RC stuff. So yeah, again, go over to our website, omgrc.com. You can always go into our description. And you can follow us on Instagram and you can check us out on our website and sign up for our newsletter. So, uh, because we always do deals, and unfortunately, we cannot give you those deals. Like, say, hey, 
on Instagram. I got kind of busted for that one. Sorry, Red Cat. But um, I was trying to promote on there. They're like, hey, man, you can't do that. So I went ahead and I, got, I had to pull that little promotion down, but it's still on our website if you have the code. So you want to sign up for our newsletter. You want to go ahead, proactively check it when we send an email because it might be something up your alley. I had a guy on Instagram was like, hey, I'm looking to get a zombie, a DHK hobby zombie. And I was like, well, he's like, it's out of 350 bucks. What's that? It's usually like 299. I said, well, we're giving you a 3S light bill and a digital charger for 50 bucks. And it's definitely, I can't buy it for 50 bucks, a battery and the charger that I'm selling. So thankfully, DA, um, HRP, which is our distributor, was able to give us that deal. So that's cool. So that just passed that deal to you. Actually, doing it cheaper than what they actually said. I could. They gave us a couple price points and I just went with the lowest one. So I just kind of kind of trying to pass it to you as much as I can to give you guys some good deals. I know the hobby is expensive and it is a hobby so it's not always not a have to have it kind of thing. So I try to make it so you guys can afford it. Well for the most part. And we use Klarna too. So you can buy now, pay later with Klarna. It's awesome. There are like probably 90, 95% of our business is through Klarna. It's a buy now, pay later, quick thing to do. You get your product, like anyways, and, and I get my money. And it makes me feel good because I don't have to worry about someone ripping me off. Because uh, I'm going to come for you too if you rip me off. I'll just get a plane ticket and take care of business. So anyway, I should have did that with my first person there too. But uh, that's that. Uh, so yeah, these are the cards I'm going to be getting, or selling, I'm sorry. And I don't know what I'm going to be getting exactly. So I might do the grasshopper or whatever on that part of it. But that's that on that one. So yeah, and I will like kind of let you guys know too. Uh, when it comes to you watching my channel, thank you. So all of my subscribers, I appreciate it. And also, I had an issue with Sin Racing. I don't sell their stuff anymore because I'm kind of upset with them right now. I might do it later, but I le left them a nasty gram. They went around my back and then went around HRP. In my opinion, that's what they did. They stole my, my business. I lost quite a few. I lost all my pre-orders except for one guy, and I'm gonna let him know. Francisco, I appreciate it, man. You're the only guy hanging is left. I had like over 10 pre-orders because Sin Racing said, hey, you can go to OMG RC, pre-order one of your monster trucks, or you can go to HRP. And uh, well, they ended up, it's taken a long time to get to, uh, to ship that boat over here. So, unfortunately, I lost it, and people are buying them right from Sin Racing. I don't like that. They need to keep their territory over on, on the other side of the, <laughs> of the continent, man. Don't be coming over here. So, uh, you ship stuff over here, we'll sell it for you, but don't come on stepping on our toes, man. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to sell stuff, put food on the table, too. So anyway, that's that on that one. Um, let's see anything else. Any negative stuff, anyhow. Uh, you know, like let's say for instance, I had someone say something about trash talking like Red Cat. I like Red Cat, man. Um, maybe you had a bad experience. I had a bad experience with Arma. All right, they had a bad controller. I don't like it. And uh, I haven't written them off, but I'm kind of holding off for right now because I like the tactical radio. I'm sure you guys can agree, but they're giving you a really seems to be a cheap radio I had a like I said I had a bad experience so uh, my I think I there's a fail safe built into the radio and so the car didn't go flying down the road and smash into something hurt somebody so that's that on that part of it but uh, I just want to try to keep what I sell on the YouTube or on the website so that's where I'm at with it anyway so that's why I'm trying to get rid of some of these but I still like it and I still have my Ford Fiesta big gap review from A to Z man um, See if we can get our cars up to 60 miles an hour or something like that too. He's got one of them as well. Also want to let you guys know, I know, please don't follow me because you want me to, uh, you know, check out your channel. Well, sometimes I'll check out some people's channels, but I'm, I don't feel obligated to watch my videos because you subscribed to me when it came to, you, I subscribed to you or something like that, or vice versa. Don't come to me and say, hey, why aren't you watching my videos? Uh, I don't know because I have other stuff I got to do. I'm trying to run a business. I got a family. I'm doing my own videos. You're doing your thing. I'm trying to do my thing. And uh, yeah, there's a lot involved behind the scenes. So please understand. All right. I, I watch car videos as well. I don't watch a lot of RC videos on my downtime. All right. 
I play with them and I watch a little bit here and there and I watch some of you guys and I'll, I'm gonna throw some channels out here too that I, I'll watch them for sure uh, would be big gap review from A to Z I'll watch some of his stuff some of his stuff sometimes I watch uh, there's another one well JTRC I watch some of his stuff too but I'm not telling him hey man why aren't you watching my videos no hey I watch them because I want to watch them all right please do that for everybody watch them because you want to watch them you enjoy their content and let's leave it at that stop making feel people making people feel like they're obligated to watch your stuff man that's not right that's not the way it should be watch it because you like to watch it you like what they're doing um, yeah and I like what you know I watch them I'm just a little bit over a lot of armor man all right <laughs> so I'm a little over uh, there's a lot of armor stuff going on and uh, yeah, they got good stuff I would love to sell their stuff I know a lot of you guys out there love Arma. they got good stuff but uh I want to I want to watch other stuff as well so I just keep flip-flopping around and I'm doing my own thing so that's that um, but yeah, uh, there's other ones too. I'm trying to think of one of the other guys I, I watched too, because he's doing some Tamiya stuff as well. Oh man, I can't think of it. I can't. Why is it not coming to me? He's from the 313. Uh, why isn't it? Oh, Steve O.D. from the 313. So he is doing some stuff on Tamiya, and I'm like, oh man, he's got some. You know, he's got doing some kits and stuff like that too. So that's cool. So I, I watch some of his stuff. I kind of jump in there once in a while. I think you know, a lot of you guys, man, you're just open arms, right? Just like, hey, man, we're trying to. We all enjoy the the hobby, and uh, but you know not all of us are gonna make it to the top, or not most of us won't make it. I don't know. I'm not even including myself. I don't know. This depends on how we do on our channels. So uh, you know, but I want to enjoy it. So just enjoy making your videos, have fun with it, learn from it, and uh, you know keep making good content. And I'm, that's what I keep tr striving for too. But I will let you know one thing: I don't want to sit in front of a computer editing all day. So I just use my iMovie on my phone. If it's convenient, I do it. So I just want to let you guys know. But at the end, when I go to upload, I have to use a PC to just do it all there. So I just want to let you guys know on that one. I don't try, you know, some of you guys who get really in depth with it, I'm not really about that because it's going to burn me out if I spend hours and hours editing, which looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It looks good. You guys do an awesome job. And I, as far as from, um, was not True Boys RC, he's doing a lot of editing and his stuff's looking pretty good, man. I, you know, I like it. So he's a real friendly guy, and uh, he's always leaving comments on everybody and stuff like that. He's he spends a lot of time on it, so I don't know where he somehow he must he is able to get more time than everybody else. I don't know, but uh, he's cool. I like him. He's got a good attitude. Yeah, most, all you guys have good attitude. Just please don't make me feel obligated to have to watch your videos. I like Charlie Eleven. He's good. He's a friendly guy. You know, all, most of you guys that have come across there, I check you guys out and watch your channel sometimes too but um, it's just a lot and I don't want to feel obligated to have to watch it because you left a comment please don't please don't feel that um, you know I'll leave a comment don't have to go running over to my channel and leave a comment or anything like that uh, I just do it because I just want to and I saw um, Ch uh, 11 Charlie he got bang good he got a little boat and his son was running and I thought that was pretty cool so uh, and it flipped over and he's a good guy I like watching this stuff too you know uh, he's a vet and uh, definitely appreciate his services and everything. Anybody else out there that's a vet, appreciate your services as well. So, uh, but it's cool. And he's in Florida, and I would definitely like to meet him along with True Boys RC, Big Gap. You know, Big Gap sent me some tires a while ago. And I definitely always will remember that, that, you know, he, he those are expensive tires. And uh, seems like he's doing all right. So, uh, anyway, most of you guys are doing pretty good, man. I don't have a, that huge of a budget, so just, you know that. Uh, if you don't, now you know, because it, it's expensive to buy all these cars, so for sure. And I just like them. All right, enough rambling on. I should have did a live video or something like that. But that is that for now. I appreciate you guys watching, as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care, and thank you for watching.